We are moving on to the next uh, exercise. The question is uh, this one. The question for this exercise is this one. The front view of a line AB is 50 degree inclined to XY and measures 55 millimeter long while its top view is 60 degree inclined to XY line. If in the A is 10 millimeter above HP and 15 millimeter in front of VP, draw its projections, find the true length, inclinations of the line with HP and VP. So uh, in this question, the uh, inclination of the front view with XY is given, that is 50 degree, and the length of the front view, 55 millimeter, is also given. The inclination of the top view is given as 60 degree. And uh, then uh, the NDA is 10 millimeter above HP and 15 millimeter in front of VP. These are the five data that are given. So let's mark it in our uh, base figure. So this is the base figure and in this one, what we have to do is we have to first mark for the given angles as well as the given length. So in this case, the front view length, the length of the front view is 55 millimeter, 55. So it is from here, this is the front view of a line AB 50 degree. Uh, so the front view of a line is 50 degree inclined to XY line. So uh, this alpha is 50 degree. Alpha is 50 degree and it measures 55 millimeter long. So front view of the line measures 55 millimeter. So that is there. While its top view is 60 degree inclined to XY line. So that is beta is 60 degree. Beta is 60 degree. And if and A is 10 millimeter above HP, uh, this distance is 10 millimeter. And this distance is uh, 15 millimeter. So these are the five data that are given. So uh, in this case, none of the true length is, neither the true length is given or nor uh, the two inclinations are given. Only the, inclin uh, the front view, the length of the front view is given and uh, the inclination of the front view as well as the inclination of the top view is given. Then the distance of A dash and A from XY line is given. So these are the given data. Now let's see the animation, how to draw it, and then uh, we will draw it in your pen and paper, I mean using your paper and pencil. So first thing we draw the XY line, and obviously we mark the given point. One point is given uh, and uh, the front view as well as top view of that particular point can be marked. So that particular thing is done, A dash as well as A is marked. Now, since the front view is fully defined, we can uh, draw the front view. And before drawing the front view, uh, in order to measure the distance, I mean, measure the angle, we need horizontal lines through A dash as well as A that are drawn. And now the front view inclination, that is 50 degree is measured and the front view length is also given, that is 55 millimeter. So the front view is completely drawn. Now, when view is there, so we can find out uh, the locus of B dash. Lo the locus of B dash is this horizontal line. This horizontal line. This is the locus of B dash. Even though it is not marked here, it is the locus of B dash. Now from B dash, we drop the projector. Since we know that uh, from this, this figure, B dash as well as B will be in the same vertical line. So now we can find out the point B. So, uh, how we, B can be found out? Since this is, it should be on this vertical line, as well as it should be making an angle of uh, 60 degree, that is the line AB should be making an angle of 60 degree with the XY line or the horizontal through A. So that uh, uh, vertical line is drawn, then that 60 degree is measured, so B is found out. So now the projections are complete. So, and the locus of uh, B can be obtained. Uh, this is the locus of B. So the projections is complete. Now what we want is uh, we need to find out the true length as well as the true inclinations with HP and VP. In order to get the true length, that is A, B2. Uh, first we obtain B2 dash. B2 dash is obtained by rotating A dash, B dash with the center A dash as center. A dash as center. So this rotation is done. That is in this direction. This direction it is being rotated. So B2 dash is obtained, and from B2 dash we obtain B2. 
B2 is obtained to the locus of uh, B. B2 is projected to the locus of B. So B2 is obtained. Now join A, B2. So this is the length of the two length. Uh, I mean, length of the line. That is, uh, you can find out or measure the length of uh, A, B2, and it will be the true length. Now, that particular length, uh, this angle, the, this angle will be equal to uh, the true inclination with the VP, that is phi. Now, in order to find out the true inclination with the HP, measure this particular distance, that is uh, AB2 in your compass, that is the true length, and then draw, draw an arc here in order to obtain the point B1 dash and uh, join A dash B1 dash. This can be found out in another way, that is by uh, drawing this arc first, that is from A, B, B is obtained here. So from B you can find out B1 and then from B1 you can obtain B1 dash. Either that way or uh, the second way is uh, using the true length, the obtained true length. You can find out B1 dash, which is again true length. So as I check, this can also be done. And uh, uh, so this angle, this angle is theta. This angle is theta as well as this angle is phi. Theta is there and phi is there. And finally, you have to mark the dimensions also. And then the box that is required. The two length you have to measure. The front view length is given that is 55 millimeter. Theta, you have to find out. Phi, you have to find out. Alpha is given as 50 degree and beta is given as 60 degree. So this is the way in which we are drawing it. So uh, I'll explain the steps once more and then we will draw it in uh, software or using your paper and pen. First we draw the XY line then mark the points A dash as well as A on a on the projector of A and then from A as well as A dash we draw the horizontal line this is to measure the angle and no other purpose is served but uh, you have to measure the angles from some point with uh, some reference line for that one the this line these horizontal lines are taken as the reference lines then uh, in the front view we draw the, we draw the uh, complete front view that is 50 degree incline and 55 millimeter length so B dash is obtained and the locus of B dash is uh, drawn. Then from B dash we drop a projector and that particular projector, in that particular projector, and uh, uh, the we know that the inclination of the top view from XY line is 60 degrees, so we draw, draw a and a line which is inclined at 60 degree with xy line and that particular line when intersecting with the projector through b dash we get b so b is obtained so locus of b is also obtained and now we rotate a dash b dash in order to get b2 dash so b2 dash is obtained and from there we project it to b2 b2 is obtained now join a and b2 this is the true length and the true inclination will be uh, the distance, the inclination of AB2 with the XY line or the horizontal line. Now, with this uh, true length line as a radius, we drop a, uh, an arc onto the locus of B dash in order to obtain B1 dash. And from B1 dash, we drop a projector to obtain B1 and B1 is rotated. A B1 is rotated to AB. If it is uh, intersecting with B itself, it is perfect. Else there is a slight mistake, that's it. And uh, the inclination of uh, A dash, B1 dash with the XY line is theta. And uh, uh, finally, the dimensions are also marked. So that's it. Now let's move on to uh, the project, the software or your pen and uh, pencil. I mean paper and pencil, you just take your paper and pencil and start.
Okay, let me uh, collect the dimensions 50 degree, 55, and 60. Length of front view is 55, alpha is 50, beta is 60, and this is 10, and this is 15. These are the data that are here. Okay. Or the scale. In order to draw the XY line, we need a thicker line. So this is XY. That's XY. Now we need a uh, Perpendicular that is uh, the projector of A and A dash. I not to get it, we mark any point, and from this particular point, we draw the perpendicular. A thin line. It should not be a dark line. It should be a thin line. And in this line, you have to mark the 15 millimeter as well as 15 millimeter. Uh, here it is 10 millimeter, and here it is 15 millimeter. 10 millimeter it is a dash and this a dash and at this point the bottom point is a and now from now to we have to draw two horizontal lines that is the lines which are parallel to the XY line. All these lines should be thin lines. Sorry. Once again, 
it's two faculty asking for some some things. Okay. Uh, now you drop two par parallel lines, uh, which are the lines which are parallel to XY line to A and A dash. And then now uh, we have to measure, we have to draw this line, this uh, A dash B dash line. In order to draw the A dash B dash line, the length is 55 millimeter and the inclination is 50 degree. So with the uh, A dash as the index point, mark the inclination as 50 degree. So in that uh, 50 degree is okay. Now with this one, you have to measure 55 millimeter. Uh, this is the final front view, so you can uh, drop it, uh, draw it like a, uh, with a greater width, that is a larger width, a darker line, not uh, width, a darker line. So this, the, the point that is obtained right now, uh, at 55 millimeters, point B dash. The point B dash is obtained. Now we can draw the locus of uh, B dash. The locus of B dash should be by any line which is parallel to the XY line. So uh, you have to use your set square as well as scale to draw the uh, perpendicular, I mean. Uh, parallel line. Don't just uh, draw an, a line which is uh, uh, which looks parallel but uh, may not be exactly parallel. So in that case it will be an erroneous line. So using these two uh, instruments that is your scale as well as set square you draw a uh, horizontal line here So that is a thicker line, and it, uh, it should be a thin line. Okay. So now this is the locus of uh, B dash. Locus of B dash is obtained. Now. From this point, draw a perpendicular line, and in order to draw the perpendicular line, you have to use your set square, I mean uh, protractor, to measure the inclination, the uh, 90 degree. So, using this one, that is it. Now, using the scale, you draw a projector line. Now this is the projector for B, uh, projector through B dash, this line, this projector through B. Now we know that uh, this 60 degree, this 60 degree can be drawn, 60 degree with the A as the index point, 60 degree since it is 60, you have to take the inner uh, values, I mean inner graduations, so here is 60, 60 corresponds to 120. So that's it. I use slightly that then hard to be a slightly longer. Okay, it's okay. Uh, this is uh, the final projection, so it has to be thicker. Now. So now this is the point uh, B. Point B is obtained, and uh, uh, again using this uh, parallel line method, you have to. Draw a parallel to B in order to get the uh, locus of B dash.
So this is the locus of B. The locus of B dash is there as well as locus of B is here. Now, as we have done, uh, we have completed uh, B dash, we have found out B, we have found out. Uh, now, we have to find out B1 dash as well as B1, uh, B2 dash as well as B2. In order to get B2 dash, you have to extend, uh, we have to rotate this line. So, in order to rotate it, first we use our compass and take the radius same as the radius of this line or the length of this line then we rotate it so now this is the point uh, b2 dash other way also you can do you can first find out b1 and then b1 dash that's also possible uh, reverse is also possible so b2 dash is obtained and then uh, from B to dash, you have to drop a perpendicular. Again, use protractor to drop the perpendicular, but I am just uh, drawing a perpendicular here. So, uh, this is the point B2. Now, join point, point A with B2. use your scale to measure uh, draw this line the length of this line a b2 uh, will be the uh, true length as well as at this angle this angle will be equal to theta i mean sorry phi this angle will be phi and this in uh, length a b2 will be the true length Likewise, you have to rotate uh, A, B. In order to find out B, 1. So this is the point B, 1. And B1 dash can be obtained by dropping a or by drawing a perpendicular line from here. So this is the point B1 dash. Now join A dash with B1 dash. That's it. Now a dash b1 dash should be of is equal length as a b1 b2. If your drawing is correct, both will be of uh, equal length. And this uh, angle, this angle will give you the theta. This angle is theta. And here this angle is phi. And this is the final figure that is uh, required. And in this uh, uh, drawing only this line a dash b dash as well as x y line and then a b only these three lines should be dark as well as darker lines other, all other lines should be thin lines i am drawing it uh, with a dark color just because for, for the visibility uh, it is uh, visible from the or it is evident from the base figure that is uh, the figure that is even taken as the base figure in this one only this a dash b dash as well as x y line and then a b only these three lines are dark lines all other lines are thin lines all other lines should be thin lines as well as light lines that you should keep in mind and now finally you have to mark the dimensions also the distance of a dash and a as well as the front view length that you have to mark and then finally that box you have to construct the box also this is uh, the complete drawing, the complete uh, figure that is to be drawn in this particular case.
we are moving back to our presentation